So talking about the loan option, so this is more if you're at the stage that you're looking at purchasing a house in, in the, the near future. And let's look at talk about some of the features that, that are available when you go for your home loan. So number one, a variable home loan. So a variable rate that will be offered by the bank as per the name is, is a rate that's a variable and it will fluctuate up and down for the life of the loan. Now that could be an interest rate cut, an interest rate increase or that the bank has deemed that they need to increase the home loan uh, which was done just previously before the new year before the end of the year so with this variable rate the lenders can offer a promotional or an introductory variable rate for the borrower but also a mortgage broker will be able to negotiate a better rate on the client's behalf than what you might see advertised and the variable rate gives the customer flexibility with the loan as they're able to attach other features, for example, we'll discuss later an offset account, um, and also gives them the flexibility of being able to switch products because they're, they're not locked into a contract. Next, talking about a fixed. So a fixed contract is for a client who wants to take a portion or all the loan and fix that as a contract. And by entering a fixed contract, it'll give the client certainty that the repayments will be at that fixed amount over a period of time. So for example, if you enter into a three year fixed loan, the repayment and interest rate will be fixed for that for, for that period. It's a contract, so what that does, it gives the, the borrower less flexibility. So for example, if they needed to exit the, if they want to refinance or change products two years down, there'll be a break cost, which is substantially higher than if you were to exit out of a variable product. And also, it, there's not as many features attached to a fixed account. For example, the main one being most lenders do not allow an offset of facility with a, with a fixed loan, though I do have some lenders that will. Moving on to offset account. So it's a feature most mostly associated with a variable account, as I said earlier. It's a 100% offset account. And what that can be done is the value in this account is if structured correctly, it will reduce your non-deductible debt as your as your payments go into the interest account and also preserve your cash flow. So if you structure correctly, you'll be able to um, ensure that you're reducing non-deductible debt whilst whilst maintaining your own payments. Some lenders will allow multiple offset accounts at no extra cost. So that's a great feature if you want to have multiple offset accounts for various reasons. You might have different savings goals. So that, that's a great feature that you might want to look at. Next, we're to, going to talk about lenders mortgage insurance or LMI. So this is a it's an insurance policy that's taken out by the lender on behalf of the client. So the lender will engage a insurance company and take out a policy. Now this policy is taken out on your behalf because the borrower is deemed to be a higher risk. Now that is because there's a lower deposit. Now the trigger point for most lenders is if you're borrowing greater than 80% value of the property, the mortgage insurance will be taken out. Some lenders will allow up to 85% before triggering the policy, but this policy taken out will, will be taken out on behalf of the borrower and is payable by the borrower at settlement. Most banks will allow you to add that amount to the loan amount, so you don't physically pay it at settlement. It can be added to and capitalized to the loan. Family guarantee. Now this is a structure that suits a client who's looking to purchase a, purchase a home but does not have that 20% deposit and would like to avoid having to pay lender's mortgage insurance, which can cost a, a borrower, depending on the, the loan to value ratio, anywhere between five and $20,000. So quite, quite an expensive insurance policy that, that some lenders would like to avoid, or most would, but this is a structure that can help them. So the bank will source that additional equity, the difference between the 20% less what the client has as a deposit, and they'll take that equity against a family member's house. And they will take up that equity against, and they'll do a second mortgage against their property to make up the difference. So this is a structure that's suitable if you've got family, uh, parents or brothers or sisters or grandparents who have a particularly an unencumbered property that they could use to, to put up the equity. And finally, just talking about a professional package. It's called different things under different lenders, but it's basically a package with an annual fee anywhere between two and $300 a year, and allows the client to take up a home loan, a fee-free credit card, the transaction accounts, and also include offset accounts. And these, these packages can also include additional discounts to other products that, that the bank may offer. 
Um, and this is a great sort of low one cost, one fee year product where if someone needs to utilize all those features, I would definitely recommend to, to, to pay the annual fee. So then you can avoid having to pay for a credit card and you have all those benefits that are attached to it.